Good morning YouTube. I was just checking to make sure it was still morning, but despite being Saturday, I was start reasonably early this morning. It's the home alone day, or at least part of it. Uh, my wife's working a long shift today at the local hospital. We'll see her before 10.30 this evening. I'm not quite sure what's going on here weather-wise. It's, uh, it's bright and sunny in places and thick clouds in others. It's not supposed to be dry today as far as the forecast I throw a day or two ago is concerned, but so far it is. And if it stays dry very much longer, it could be a nice day. Uh, I'm smoking. My brick black mortar. There's some uh, Baron HH Arcadian Perique, which has become a firm favourite of mine in a very short space of time. It seems to <coughs> match my mood and match most times of the day. Really nice flavour. Reasonable spice. And you can tell you smoke something. You know, there's some bland, bland blends out there that you light it up and you, you get to the end of the bowl and you wonder if you've actually had a pipe at all. Mm. Anyway, we've had a fairly strange summer here in the UK. Well, certainly my part of the UK. Yeah, we have some, we've had some glorious days of weather. And then we have some appalling days of weather, and there hasn't been any consistency so far. It's, uh, well, it must be quite frustrating for holidaymakers coming down to Cornwall. <coughs> and have a five or six day stretch. We might have two or three days that are pretty good, and two or three days that are absolutely appalling. We've had a couple of days of really heavy rain down here. Lots of localised flooding and standing water on the roads. I know it's been worse elsewhere in the country. But I feel sorry for anyone in a tent with a family. <coughs> anyway, we've uh, pretty much finished the house. Um, for anyone that hasn't watched my previous videos we've been doing some exterior decorating uh, and we've had someone working on the roof <coughs> um, scaffolding's down and uh, we've been able to go around and paint over the patches where the scaffold poles were in the way we couldn't get to them We have two more windows to, to uh, paint on the first floor. Um, I'm really not very good with ladders and heights. And they're just a little bit outside my comfort zone. Thankfully my son is quite happy hanging off the end of a ladder. <coughs> so he'll do those for me. I did make a point of uh, going up to the top of the scaffolding whilst it was up, just to prove myself I could do it. And the views were spectacular. In fact, before the scaffolding came down, when we'd finished, um, my son did take some good shots of the views from the top of the scaffolding. Our views where we live are pretty spectacular anyway, but from the top of the scaffolding they're um, really good. I'll, uh, I'll insert a few of those here just so that you've got something to look at.
Well, what do you think? Spectacular views, eh? I'm sure some of you out there will have uh, even more spectacular views from your homes. <coughs> but for us, it's a reasonably ideal combination of tranquility and convenience. Well, I mean, we're only 20 minutes away from the nearest town. And we're only actually a mile and a half away from a little shop. We've got one reasonable country pub in walking distance. Good walk, mind you. It's easy to take the car. Uh, they do some reasonable food. Very busy this time of the year, popular with walkers. <coughs> Yes, pubs. <laughs> We've um, lost a lot of our pubs over the last few years. Probably largely due to the recession over here, but uh, hasn't been helped by a smoking ban. <coughs> and now we have a a new campaign. We've we've got our smoking ban. We've got our plain paper packaging for cigarettes and tobaccos and all the rest of the rubbish. We've got. Uh, a cover up so that stores selling tobacco products have to hide them from view and only open the displays when you ask for whatever you want. These days, if you go into a supermarket and try and buy something over the counter, they give you a list to choose from before they open the doors. And now we have a, a new vocal group. Oh, that's right, we've also had laws passed to ban people smoking in cars if they've got under 18s with them or some such rubbish. Thankfully, I don't know very many under 18s and I tend to be driving on my own, so that's a no real consequence to me. <coughs> I'm all for considerate smoking. I'm all for being considerate of those around you, and I'm all for um, taking responsibility for my enjoyments and my pleasures. Um, you know, there are times when my good lady wife gets fed up with my pipes, and then I might spend a day or two outside, or even not bothering. But these latest proposals suggest that <coughs> we shouldn't be allowed to smoke in pub gardens, parks, town squares, effectively anywhere in public where we might be seen by children and influence their future decisions. I haven't seen the interview, but apparently some idiot on the television actually suggested they wanted to make smokers into some kind of deviant lifestyle choice. Of course, if they succeed, it's only another step on the ladder to stupidity and puritanical belief. After that they'll be banning pubs from selling alcohol. Then you won't be allowed to smoke or have alcohol in your own homes. 
And I'll see a point at some stage in the dim and distant future, thankfully long after I'm gone, where you'll be able to only eat from a specific government approved list of ingredients. Based on recent governments in the UK, those ingredients will all be supplied by some relative or other of politician. It's looking quite dark and stormy out there now. There's a shaft of bright sunshine contrasting with really dark clouds. Not a day for the beach. <coughs> Not that I'm a particularly big beach goer. But my wife points out we haven't been to the beach for several years and it would be nice to go. So if we get some time where we're both together and the weather's reasonable, we might well go this year. I'm not sure there's much more to tell you. I have, a, I have another pipe acquisition. Which I suppose I could show you. This is top secret, mind you. Ah, yes. As a result of this latest pipe acquisition, my wife looked up at me and said, Do you realise you've got more pipes than I've got shoes? So, either I've got to stop buying pipes. I've got to start buying her more shoes. Anyway, do you want to see this pipe? Let's put that one down for a moment. No, that's not the pipe, that's the case. This I got on eBay. That's a carved Buddha on the front. Nice big bowl. It was uh, brand new and unsmoked. Excuse me, brand new and unsmoked when I got it. And I've smoked it a couple of times. It's starting to colour slightly. But I'm not suggesting that this is amazing quality carving but it's a very good carving it's a very nice pipe slightly off center if you, you see that it's quite difficult to see but it is slightly off center but I've seen auctions where these have gone for 200 pounds and I acquired this on eBay for the 35 pounds including posting and packing and I thought that was a great deal. So there you have it, my friends. Codicus Rex. Ready to go shoe shopping. Needs to relight the pipe. Hope you have a great weekend. Stay happy.